Hi guys, I'm Cambro, uh, and this is my Arkham Horror the card game review of the player cards in the Forgotten Age. Uh, so two new things, I got a new haircut, <laughs> and I also have a mic now uh, instead of a headset, so hopefully the sound will be a bit better. Uh, I have tried adjusting a little bit with it, not much time, so um, if the sound is better please let me know. Uh, shout out before we start. So today, like an hour ago, Netrunner, uh, my other living card game that I play, was announced that it's they're shutting it down, which is really, really sad. Uh, I've been playing Netrunner for like three years, or four years maybe. So seeing it goes down is very sad. Uh, but uh, we're not about here to talk about Netrunner. We're here to talk about Arkham Horror. So <clears throat> in my last video, uh, like two weeks ago, I talked about the uh, investigators for the Forgotten Age. Uh, so if you haven't checked that video, please go back and check it. Uh, so in this video, I'll be talking about the uh, investigator card, uh, the player cards. I won't talk about any encounter cards in the set. Uh, but as my last uh, in the Path to Kirkos, I did all the player cards in the same video. And I think I'll try something different now. I'll only talk about the Guardian card in this video, and then I'll do four more videos where I talk about every respective class. And probably in the survival, I'll also talk about the uh, new weakness, because there's two new basic weakness, and I want to cover them as well. So I'll do that at the end of the survival video. So hopefully this will come out, uh, all the five videos will come out pretty close to each other. So I'm being very slow with this uh, this video. I wanted to get a new mic uh, to increase the quality. So uh, let's jump. Close the wrong tab. No, I didn't. So first player card is the survival knife for the guardian. It's an asset, takes up the hand slot, and it's item, weapon, and melee traded as a combat icon and uh, a single action which is fight you get plus one uh, combat for this attack it also has a reaction which reads after an enemy attacks deals damage to you during the enemy phase exhaust survival knife fight this attack this attack targets the attacking enemy you get plus two combat and plus one damage for this attack okay so it kind, it's almost like it's giving the investigator the retaliate keyword, which some enemies had. So this lets you fight back during the investig uh, during the enemy phase, which is really cool. Uh, so two uh, and a hand slot. It's in the sh in the cheaper end of weapons actually, uh, but the a term as a fighting weapon that you will use with the, this fight this action. It's not very good. Uh, plus one combat, that's not good at all. That's like knife, the core base knife. Uh, so you definitely want another weapon like a forty-five or a machete. So since it only takes one hand slot, you can have a machete or a gun in the other hand slot. So what about this reaction? So it's important to understand that this only triggers in the enemy phase. Uh, so you can't sh sheet it out, like move, attack it with the reaction, move, attack it with the reaction. Uh, so it only triggers in the enemy phase. And I have noticed this actually to be a bit awkward uh, sometimes. Um, if it would trigger of every attack, it would be way too strong. Maybe a, like a level, I don't know, three or four card. Um... But yeah, um, so they attack you in the enemy phase, and uh, let's see how this do. After an enemy attacks, deals damage to you during the enemy. Phase. So I guess it has to deal damage to you. So you can't play something like dodge, uh, or I had worse, to cancel it. Uh, you have to actually take some damage for this to trigger, right? After an enemy attacks deals damage to you yeah, yeah you have to take the damage so then let's say there's two enemies at your location the first one attacks you 
then you could, if you want, exhaust the uh, survival knife and stab it back. Uh, or you could not exhaust it because this is a reaction. You don't have to trigger it if you rather want to stab the second one, which might be a boss or something with more health or something more dangerous. Uh, so this extra one does plus two combat, which put most guardians uh, at like five or six, which is no, 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 more like six or seven, uh, which is very nice. And it deals two damage, which is very solid. Uh, it doesn't have any claws, like it doesn't have any ammo. It can you can be engaged with multiple enemies, unlike the machete, uh, and it doesn't have ammo like the, all the guns. Uh, but this is not your primary weapon. You want a this is your secondary weapon. You want a real weapon in your fa first hand. Uh, cards like guard dog, which um, which trigger. Because when you an enemy hits guard dog, it bites back, and this uh, this uh, damage to you, it's not referred to your investigator card. It's referred to your asset as well. So if an enemy attacks the guard dog, the guard dog will bite back. The survival knife will trigger, and you will stab the enemy back. And you could potentially do three damage uh, to an enemy in the enemy phase, which is uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Mark Harrigan also probably likes this card. He, he will get to draw a card, so he doesn't really mind getting da uh, getting damaged. Uh, Leo Anderson also probably will have a lot of investigators, uh, so they can take the hits and he can react and, and stab the enemy back, which is cool. Um, so in Roland, I mean, they're guardians, so they have a lot of health. Uh, another thing I noticed, so I've only actually played the survival knife in my Yorick deck, which I'm playing uh, the Puff to Kokotha with right now. Um, so he can take it because it's a guardian card. Uh, and Yorick has this ability that when he kills stuff, he gets to play them, uh, play an asset from the discard pile. So if you're running the leather coat and the shared keepsaker, if the, the enemy just hits one of these, like destroy one of them, you can play it back immediately in the enemy phase if you manage to kill it with the survival knife. Uh, and I actually managed to bounce them two back quite a lot and let like hit the final blow with the survival knife like two or three times actually in the catacombs. So that was uh, very fun. Uh, yeah, survival knife. I think it's a very... It can be a bit awkward, I noticed. Um... If this is your only weapon that you're finding, you're not too happy. I mean, it's better than nothing, but yeah, it, it's a cool card. I'm very glad to see we have something like this. Yes, uh, so let's continue. So these videos probably will be just around 20 to, yeah, around 20 minutes, because we're already one fourth done already. And we're uh, eight minutes in, yeah. Yeah, so we got a new ally, Venture, 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 I should definitely check the pronunciation before I do this. <laughs> so it's a Guardian card, uh, it's an asset which costs four, ally and warfare traded, so we have actually got a couple of warfare traded allies now. Takes up the ally spot and uh, has a intellect icon. It has two health and two sanity. Use a three supply fast. Spend one supply and exhaust venture. Uh, place one supply or one ammo on an asset controlled by an investigator at your location. So this is pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of like uh, extra ammunition from the corset, which lets you place three ammo on a firearm. Um, and this, oops. Hope that didn't sound too much. Uh, this one lets you also put three ammo on a card if you want uh, over three turns, though. But this doesn't cost an XP, so you can include it in your starting deck. Um, other cards, uh, you can, like, if you manage to put extra ammo on your lightning gun or shotguns, that's super good. There were also a deck floating around just recently. Let's see if I can find it real quick. 
uh, here, a 60 ammo lightning gun, which used stuff like Ventura and uh, Contraband, which I thought was really cool. Uh, see, use for Contraband. Uh, so just for that reason, it's probably a solid card. I mean, getting extra ammo on your 45 is not something bad, and it's uh, something that Guardians struggle with. In Anderson, it costs 3 to play and no action, so definitely good. Other cards, a card like Strange Illusion, which uses supplies. Uh, being able to fill up your uh, your allies. Um, Strange Illusion is super good. Uh, Rex can actually take him himself, because uh, he can take out a faction card. Let's see, Daisy can't, Ming can't, and Herschel can't. Yeah, so it's only Rex who can do it currently. Um, stuff like first aid, uh, use the supply, being me to fill that up. Uh, Mark probably likes that. First aid level three is so good in Mark, I have noticed. Um, smoking pipe, uh, which Gar uh, Guardian usually has a problem with horror. So, being able to, if you really want to do use like four to six smoking pipes, then you start probably about to die due to the damage, but you could. Um, yeah, uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a cool, and I mean, uh, even after, um, after the supplies are done, this is still a meat shield for 2-2, two, two. uh, he doesn't provide anything else after that, so you probably just want to, um, uh, after you have used the three supplies, you want to kill him off somehow. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, yeah, this looks like to be a short video, but that might be good actually. Makes it easier on my throat. <laughs> Maybe I should zoom them in actually. Is it? I don't know. Maybe it's better if I zoom them in. Uh, so this is Trusted. It's a Guardian event, uh, cost one and has an intellect icon. Uh, and it re no, a willpower icon, and it reads fast. Play only during your turn. Attach to an ally asset you control. Attach ally gets plus one health and plus one sanity. Um, isn't that actually the picture from on the Arkham Horror box? Like on the main Arkham Horror box? Arkham Horror, the card game. Yeah, it is, right? Oh, th that one. I, I didn't read. Is it? No, okay, no, it's not. But it's kind of similar, though. There's a guy and a girl, but they're a uh, switch position. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> so, you play this, and you attach it to an ally. That ally gets plus one health and plus one sanity. Um, is that good? It's probably okay. Um... If you attach it to something like a beat cop level two, you can ping him for three times before he, uh, four times before he dies. That's good. Four tests and the damage is very good. Uh, and more horror is also definitely good. Duke maybe likes it, uh, be able to take more hits because Ash can without Duke is horrible. Um, and it is fast. So if you count like it costs one uh, if we compare it to something like um, coat clot coat I can't uh, how the hell did that I can't spell today okay I can never spell coat if we compare to the letter code, which is 0 for 2, uh, this is 1 for 1, 1, which is basically the same because you're not spending an action to play it. We have cards like Fine Clothes, which cost 1 and gives you 1, 1. Short Fine Clothes also give you a par lady um, reduction. But in terms of cost, it's not too bad actually. Uh, the thing with Trusted is. I probably will find it hard to find place worth in the deck. 30 cards is very limited. 
Um, so finding space for trusted will be hard, I think, because uh, you need to run a couple of allies. So you, because without an ally, trusted is does nothing in your hand. Well, you can pitch it for a willpower, but uh, if you don't have an ally, you can't even play trusted. So you need a couple of allies and uh, yeah, uh, and you probably want, yeah, I guess one trusted is enough. So I haven't tried it out yet, so I can't tell the other two cards I have tried. Um, but it, it's, I think it will definitely suffer from um, finding place in your deck, like a spot for it. But it, it's still a cool card, and if you're running a lot of uh, uh, allies, give it a try. I mean, some allies probably don't like it. Uh, six, eight, how does it? Brother, how does right brother? Savior. Brother Savior, I mean, he could take 4-4, four, four, uh, but you want to kill Brother Savior, so I don't know. Uh, let's continue to our last card. So this is Reliable. It's also an event. Uh, I'll take a sip of water. So it's also an event. Cost one uh, resource to play and one XP. And it has an intellect icon. It reads fast. Play only during your turn. Attached to an item asset you control. While you're solving the triggering ability on attached asset, you get plus one to each of your skills. So kind of like trusted, you attach this to something, and in this case, it's an item. Uh, and like trusted, it's fast, so it doesn't take an action to play. So what does it do? You attach it to something, and every time you use the activate, um, and you use an ability on that triggered ability. Hmm. Triggered ability. So why I'm stopping here now because I'm thinking if it works with the reaction. Is that a triggered ability? Uh, let's check the rules. Trigger, triggered abilities. Okay, so triggered ability is uh, all of them. So it will. So every f time you do something like a ball, I don't know what they, what they're called. This bold action. An action cost, a free action or a reaction, you will get plus one, uh, or maybe multiple plus if that uh, skill is using multiple uh, skills, or if that test is using multiple skills. Uh, so let's say, let's take Machete as the example. You have a reliable Machete because you have attached it. Then when you do this fight, you will actually get, get plus two combat. Which is really good. <laughs> uh, that is really good. Um, if you attach it to something like Switchblade, you'll get plus three instead of plus two, and succeeding by two will become even easier. Uh, so it's probably a very reliable weapon. I ha having a ma reliable machete is super good and definitely worth an XP. Sure, you have to draw them. Um, but, uh, I mean, you could play the Machete if you draw it first, and then later you'll draw your Reliable, and you'll just make it Reliable, Machete. Reliable probably shines the most, though, in cards like Logpicks, where you use two skills. For example, Logpick, you will add your agility to your, to your intellect. Uh, but since intellect and willpower both gets plus one, you'll actually add, like, let's say something like Yeni. If she's using lockpicks, she'll get 3 plus 3. But if she has reliable lockpicks, she'll actually get 4 plus 4. Which is really good. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, yeah, I don't think if there are so many other cards at current which add stuff. Uh, there are suggestions, but that's not an item. Um, there are a couple of ones, probably. Add your, let's see. Uh, 
Yeah, it's cheap shot, but that's not an item also. So it's currently only lockpick, which I can think of. Um, it looks to be that way. Uh, so every time we get uh, probably row cards, which add a, an, agil uh, an ability or a skill to another skill, reliable will make that even stronger. Uh, but otherwise, just a reliable machete or a reliable... Uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, 45. If you want to be real ballsy, you could try the... Where? Um, knuckle duster. Then you'll, then you'll get plus one damage and one, plus one combat. Uh, I mean, it's still not good. Because they'll still have retaliate. But it will be the same strength as the machete. But without the restriction of macheting being, uh, you have to be only engaged with one enemy. But still, probably better just to pay lay a reliable machete. Okay, so 21 minutes, uh, a bit faster video. But if I would do all five actions, we'll be up to like one and a half hour, uh, and that would be too much. <laughs> I would lo lose focus probably. So I'll probably record like one more video this evening probably. Or tomorrow, we'll see. But um, I hope you like this. Uh, if you do, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> and all that. Um, yeah, and until uh, until next time, happy Arkham. I have to get a new uh, outro phrase. <laughs>